John Hooper Gas, what's up? So today, video number two, and we're going to be doing a shoulder workout today. This is something I've done off and on for years. It's been a staple in my workout from the time I was in college, playing like a buck sixty to now I'm almost 220. Uh, I've always gotten some gains out of it. I've always seen growth. So it's something I want to keep around for a very long time unless just they come out with the Captain America serum, which I would volunteer for in a heartbeat, which I think most people would. On another note, this workout is very short, uh, to say the least, but you're going to be doing a lot of sets and a lot of reps. And the movements normally are fairly heavy, so this is more of a bulking exercise. Uh, I do it more in the winter, just once you know beach season's over, you ain't got to worry about your shirt being off, none of that fun stuff. It is strictly to put on size and strength. Um, if you got any questions, guys, please comment below, and let's get started. Again, with the same exercises as I did in my last video, it's going to be the cable crunch and the back extension. And you're going to do three sets of 20 with each. Now what these do is to help tighten up your core, help keep everything together. You want everything as stable as possible. This helps to prevent any injuries, lower back, strains, anything that you might have, even with shoulders. When you're doing overhead shoulder presses, the tighter your core is, the better your body transfers energy from your legs to your upper body to your arms. It all works together. So make sure to warm up well um, this is something I do religiously I, every day I do not skip it rain sleep shine whatever this is something you will always see in every one of my videos now I'll update it from time to time but for now this is perfect example of what you need to be doing there's no point in me changing the videos out because the good parts coming up next and that's going to be the shoulder press press now you'll see me doing them behind my neck but you can do them front behind whatever's comfortable I like behind because it tends to hit traps a little more now when I do these I do five sets of five I'll start light and I work my way up heavy uh, and also go slow and steady you don't want to rush these reps uh, you want them to be slow contractions that really squeeze the muscle like I say your last couple sets should be heavy weight it shouldn't be something you can easily press it should be a little bit of a struggle to it um, best to have a spot with you on this too. Now we're going to go into the dumbbell shoulder press. This is also going to be five sets of five. You should pick a weight that is heavy. This is something like I said it's going to be a size builder, a strength builder. Don't slack, don't sell yourself short. Push some weight that you can push no more than five times and when I mean struggle I mean you should be struggling by that fifth set, uh, fifth rep. Uh, keep a spot with you on this just in case it's always good to have someone back there just to keep you covered. Now we're doing lateral raises. Uh, this is a moderate to heavy weight. Three sets of ten and it is a strict movement. Don't sling the weight up. That'll end up hurting your shoulder, your back, or, or both. As you can see, slow up, slow down. You want a good contraction out of the muscle. Pump as much blood into your shoulders as you can when you're doing this exercise. A different version of the lateral raise, you're going to do this one with cables. Um, pick a moderate weight on this one because you're going to be doing more sets. You're going to be doing five sets of 10 to 12 on this one. Uh, like, like I said earlier, slow and controlled. This should be a, an exercise that just pumps your shoulders full of blood. Um, your shoulders should almost you feel like the double in size by the end of these exercises so as you can see it's very slow and controlled I get to the top I squeeze I lower it back down I want that muscle to have to work all the way through the range of motion I don't ever want it to have a break um, like I said on this moderate weight five sets of 10 to 12 Last but not least is rear delts. You're going to stay on the cable machine and you're going to move the cable slightly higher than your shoulder. Uh, five sets of 12 to 15 reps. Uh, slow and controlled, you should get a major burn out of this. Uh, it's called a mind-muscle connection. Since you can't see this muscle, you really have to focus on it. Think about squeezing it. Force blood into that muscle. Your rear delt should be on fire by the end of five sets. Um, so make sure to really focus on that muscle. 
crap. So this is gonna be the last exercise for the day. Um, this is on a standing calf machine. Uh, load the thing heavy because you're gonna be doing anywhere between three and five sets of 10 to 12 reps. Um, you just wanna get up underneath the thing. Don't use your calves, don't jump the weight. Use your traps to push the pads up and hold for a second or two up top on the movement. So this, your trap should be on fire by the end of this exercise also. Uh, definitely one of the best things I've noticed to build size in your traps. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, like I said, very beginner workout. This is a good shoulder workout for size and strength, especially if you're starting out. You're probably going to see a lot of growth off of this real quick. Um, stick with the sets and reps that I said in here. If you feel you can push out a few more, hey, by all means, push out a few more. Um, just make sure you get at least the ones that I said. That's where your optimal growth of size and strength is going to come from, that set range. And on top of that, make sure you're taking in enough food to recover from a workout like this. Moving that kind of weight is definitely putting your body under some stress and you need to replenish. Especially within 20-30 minutes of your workout, get something in your body so it can heal itself. Uh, also helps to cut down on the soreness. You're going to be sore from this. Now, uh, the next workout that I'm going to come up with on here is going to be a leg day. You heard me. Leg day. So for those of you who skip legs because they think arms are all they need, you're probably not going to like it. You're probably going to say, ah, I'm going to skip this one. I'll wait till the chest and the arms come out. Those are coming. But I wanted to get the ones that most people don't think about out before I do chest and arms because everybody knows chest and arms. Everybody wants a big chest and big arms. That's what everybody notices about people first, especially guys who work out. Chest and arms, that's what everybody notices. You got to try and be well-rounded. So going to legs, it's a pretty pretty good workout. Uh, you will be gassed by the end of it. I know I've been doing it for a while now, years, and it still gasses me, but I love it. Hey, legs are probably one of my stronger points. Um, just I've always had them, played baseball for years, came with the territory. So look for that one coming up, hopefully the end of this week. I'm going to try and have it out by Friday. If not by Friday, no later than Sunday. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions on some of the exercises on maybe that mind-muscle connection as far as doing certain movements with your with your shoulders, uh, especially on the back side of your shoulders, your rear delts. That takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, hope you enjoy it and look forward to getting the next one out for you. Have a great night, guys.